Alrighty guys, um, welcome to episode 58 of the podcast. Um, this one was done with Anna Casey. She is a hairdresser and I feel like a piece of shit because I can't tell you exactly what where she is doing it. I know it's in Lubbock, Texas for all the listeners who aren't from Lubbock, Texas. Oh fuck, I don't even know. But she is a hairdresser as she explained and um, yeah, she's uh, my girlfriend's uh, my girlfriend's cousin So that's how we know each other And I figured you know She wanted to be on And I was like you know what Let's just do it I'm trying to knock out a lot of these In the next few weeks So um, It was a good one I really enjoyed our conversation um, We talked about of course You know being in the cosmetology business And all that shit But we also talked about like Like fucking spirits and energy And it just kind of I think I kind of derailed a little bit And that was my fault yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy it. We talk about her animal. I'm not going to let you know. You have to listen to know what little little reptile she has. It's pretty fucking cool, actually. So, um, yeah, I want to say thank you to Anna and uh, thank you to all my guests. And um, thank you to all my listeners. Uh, you can check me out at Snake Pit with RattlesnakeRoy.com. You know, Rattlesnake Roy, Patreon. Rattlesnake Roy on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm laying off. But I get on here and there to post and just to fuck around. And then I see some bullshit and I delete the apps. And check out the official Snake Pit, Rattlesnake Roy um, Facebook page. That's new. You can also um, you can also send me your address through any of those means and I will write you a letter. That's what I'm doing right now. So that's pretty cool. And uh, thank you guys and I hope you enjoy. I knew I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. I just winged this shit and... um. Fuck, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Hmm. Oh, check out FN, FNX, FN, letter N, X, fitness, fit, FNXFit.com. And I haven't said that in a while. FNXFit.com and use the code SNAKE for 15% off your order. If you want to support the podcast, so um, I'll share and like my shit, please. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a good weekend, good day, good week, whatever you listen to this. Love y'all, and see y'all next time. Yeah, three, two, one. What's up, guys? Uh, episode 58 of the podcast. Uh, I'm here with my my girlfriend's cousin. I guess we're friends now. I guess so. Yeah. What's up, Anna? How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, man. I'm good. I've just been chilling. It's Friday night. Enjoying some, some beers. Cheers. There you go. White Claws. The mango ones are the best. I think you know this guy right here. I don't want you to look at him. The... You know him. Is that my boss? My old boss? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the owner of Hair Against. He probably sees my car. He's probably like, what the hell are you doing? I, uh, yeah, he, um, he, he texted you a picture of Jordan one time? Uh, of Jordan's car. I, I don't know how he knew. I thought that was extremely weird. I don't want to be. Honest. Patrick is a interesting man. He never forgets anything. So, like, if you tell him something once, he'll remember it for the rest of his life. So I guess I told him something about Jordan, or I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, he, it was a. He, I don't know. After that, I never trusted him, so I don't know. He's a, he's a really good guy. You don't, really? Yeah, you don't have to worry. He's like probably the nicest person that I've ever met. Well, weird. Yes. He's been. I mean, he's been my neighbor as long as I've been here. He so. has like five snakes. He has chickens. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, he has chickens. He has turtles. Snakes, he has dogs. Can you scoot up a little bit? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Just, you good right there. Yeah. Better? You, um, yeah, man. I, I, I didn't know, like, I guess it's more common than than I've, I'm aware, like, people having chickens in their backyard in the city. Yeah. I didn't know that was a deal. He has, like, three or four or something. I don't know. I know. I think he has a big dog, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. Oh, he did? One of his dogs killed. Favorite chicken. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a that's a problem. It was really sad. Where where where'd y'all work at? Harrigan's. He's the owner. What the fuck is that? The restaurant. <laughs> he's the owner. Okay. Yeah, um, he's pretty cool. So um, yeah, well, just getting a little introduction. Um, it's gonna be a. This is gonna be a. What do you call it? Like a. I don't know what the word is. I just lost it. But the headphones. I move it around. Sorry, guys. It's fucking weird, but I feel like it's more professional having headphones. 
So, and I can tell the audio level when I have headphones, so that's why we're doing it. Yeah. Those were disinfected, <laughs> just to let you know. Good. I'm but just I just really got about it. I just got them in the mail, but I did wipe them down. So, okay. So don't worry. I wiped the table down. I wiped the fucking mic. So if you were worried, don't. Uh, I wasn't, so it's okay. Okay. Well, if you guys, you guys out there looking, were worried, and don't worry about it. Well, anyways, let's get into it. You're um. So I was gonna ask about um your. Where do you work your hair? What do you call it? I'm a hairdresser. Hairdresser? Yeah. I work at Eclectic People. It's like right across the street from Tech. Mm-hmm. How, uh, the one, is it next to uh, Saddle Tramps? Kind of, no, no. no is it's it? near there. No, that's... Saddle whatever? Andropolis. Oh, okay. That's not where I work. I work just down the street, though. And you just, this is like your first year doing it? Yeah, I just graduated like, well, technically I finished at the first week of the pandemic. So that sucked. So then I had to wait like several months before I could get my license. So it halted your shit a little bit? Uh-huh. It really oh, yeah. Nobody was doing like that uh-huh. wasn't open for a while, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then as soon as they opened back up, then I could schedule my test. But then there was so many people that needed to schedule their test. I had to wait a month and a half. What's the uh, what's test like? Stupid. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm interested. I'm interested in this So sentence. like basically you could burn someone's hair off. And they don't care. Like, as long as you can disinfect everything, you'll pass your test. Like, the test is all mock. So, like, instead of hair color, you use gel for your it's test. A, it's just stupid. Like, Oh, it's not like a written test. It's a, There's two. Yeah, there's oh. a written test. You have to pass that first. That one was stupid, too. I don't know. What happens if you fail? Do you... Um you can take it again. You, you just have to pay again. for it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It was easy, though. I made a 95 or something like that. There you go. Congratulations. I mean, like, I, and I fucked the haircut up that I did. They don't really and know. I pulled two things out of the trash can, and she didn't even notice. <laughs> so it's like, like just one person watching you, and then they, mm-hmm. they, they pass you? Yeah. They're like, okay, now this section, perform a haircut. But it has to be a certain haircut. Yeah. What, what, got it, what, uh, what got you into... What made you want to do it, hairdressing? I actually never wanted to do it. <laughs> so it's like... Um, okay, so my mom's done hair for 30 years, and I've always... That's right, okay. Yes. So I've always been in the salon, so it's like I wanted to avoid it. And then I worked for Ashley Furniture. Don't buy furniture from them. They're horrible anyway. Um, <laughs> I worked for Ashley Furniture, and they fired me January 2nd. <laughs> like, as soon as I got there... I only worked there for like two months and then I didn't do anything for like two months. I was just chilling and I was like, what the hell am I going to do? With that was this life? year? No, last oh, year. Oh, last year. Well, I guess technically 2018 okay. into 2019 and then, yeah. And so I was like, you know, maybe I'll just go to esthetician school, like for skincare. Uh-huh. And then I didn't like that. So I just ended up doing all hair and stuff. I'm glad I went though. I think anybody who doesn't know what they're supposed to do in life should go to cosmetology school. Even if you just waste a year, it's so fun. Really? Yeah, and there's so many things you can do. Like you can do body waxing, you can do facials, you can do hair, you can do braiding. So all that you have to go to cosmetology mm-hmm. if you want to well, do that. Well, not braiding. You don't have to have a license for braiding. That's like a, 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 a like a business, like braiding? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I know quite a few people in the cosmetology world, yeah. both legit and not legit. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are legit. I think uh, my friend Val, she does a, uh, eyelashes, I think. Oh, uh, that's uh, funny. You can yeah, make God, money. she was telling me, Jesus it's Christ. Stupid. Even fucking hairdressing is making, they fucking make money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but Just not really in Lubbock. Like, I'm ready to get out of Lubbock so I can charge more. You think, like, Lubbock's holding you back from your prices? It's... Sort of. I feel like yeah. there's a clientele here. That there is, but prices are just cheaper here. Okay. Like, people in Dallas and Austin, they pay, like, way too much money to get their hair done. Yeah, Jordan was telling me you were, uh, you were thinking about moving to Austin. Yeah, I think we're going to move it the first of the year. Next year? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, because I was supposed to be moving to Florida this month, and now I'm not anymore. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I know a little bit about that, but yeah, I don't want to <laughs> yeah, man, I forget, I forget, like, 
the cosmetology shit, it's like the state, so you can mm-hmm. move anywhere within Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. And then... Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Texas has, like, one of the highest amounts of hours required, so you can basically transfer your license to any other state. Oh, so they just require hours mm-hmm. other states. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Huh? Yeah. Go to Austin. I'm thinking about moving there. Yeah. When she told me y'all were thinking about it, or you were, and then Jordan was, and I'm like, oh. You know, it's just cool. I think you two would fit in into Austin more, too. Yeah, I mean... uh it's it's a good I, I mean it's it's right down the street really kind of yeah it's, it's not, really not far it's not that far yeah you know? I could still come back over it's, the it's weekend it's like a five and a half hour drive if that right yeah depending on where you're at in Austin it depend on who driving who's driving that's true I've been in some cars with some fucking idiots I don't like that I don't I ninety is the fastest I'll go on a highway ninety yeah I won't even go eighty fuck oh. that <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm old man when I drive fuck that but we have. 85 mile an hour speed limits. I've been on that. And motherfuckers are going like 100. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, I But you want- have to keep up with traffic. You can't be the slow person. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no, nah, I'm the slow person. I'm like, fuck that. Hold on, I'm with that. Whatever that is. Oh, they're probably looking for somebody. You know, Lubbock. I would say Lubbock's getting bad, but anywhere is bad right now. The world is ending. You think so? It's the start of the end of the world, I think. The end of America. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I think I... I read somewhere where no other democracy or something like that makes it past 250 years old, and America's like... It's know. getting there. America's like 246 years old. Like, no other democracy, they've had a major revolution at 250 years old. No, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, I think there's definitely definitely a big change going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be like a revolution like I think the, it there is. was. Have you paid attention to Portland? Like, no, I all that shit up mm, there? Mm-mm. Mm. I, I intentionally had to like be ignorant and mm. just block that shit out because it's it I just can't. it can it can consume you. Yeah, it fucking just like because like you know I I think almost everybody our age is like when they wake up is immediately check your phone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So like if I'm checking my phone at six in the morning and the first thing I'm seeing is fucking unmarked cars take over Portland, mm-hmm. like my day is mm-hmm. like. I don't want to start my day off like that. So I yeah. quit. I quit just fucking. Well, the protesters up there are fucking sick, honestly. So they're getting sprayed with tear gas and they're using leaf blowers to blow it back on the on the feds. Yeah, that's a lot of. Uh, they were doing that in China. I've seen. That, that's where we learned it from, that, apparently. Yeah, oh. Those motherfuckers were like. There's some scary shit going on in China. Too, there's, right there's scary shit going everywhere. If you, <laughs> if you want to talk about it, like, like, oh, uh, well, first, before we go there, uh, I seen, like, when the Chinese, like, or in Hong Kong, mm-hmm. those, like, they were getting, they would throw tear gas and, like, they would put a cone over it or something and, like, spray it with water and it wouldn't work. Hey, they, they were getting real. They're, they, and, like, we've learned a lot of stuff. From and, them. like, over there is, like, face recognition. Mm, like, on the street and shit. Yeah, so right? they, they would get really high powered lasers and, 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 and fucking. Like, all line up and, and block out the police. Like, it was crazy what they that were doing crazy. over there. Yeah, what do you what you heard about China? I talk shit about China. I don't like that. I mean, Fuck basically it. everything you've been saying, like, there's, like, a major, like, communist, like, revolution shit going on over there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't... I would never go to China. You couldn't pay me to go to China. You know, I honestly would wanted to, but I really believe that they are such, like... Like, they suppress mm-hmm. ideas and shit so much that if they found out I went, and they were like, let's look up his history on YouTube, and they found... I'm, I'm pretty sure they would fucking lock me up if I went. I'm not even lying, and I'm not they even that big you. of a fucking YouTuber at all. I'm, I swear to God, those motherfuckers would find me. Yeah. I don't do. even know if I want to go to Asia anymore, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking nuts over there. Do you I, remember the kid that went to North Korea and then, like, stole that, like, poster? And now- oh, fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot! Why would you even attempt to do something like that? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't feel bad for him. Like, no, he shouldn't have died. 
Nishin. Whatever. Oh, he did die. Yeah, he died. Oh, I forgot about that. Like, he had, like, a, like something wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, they tried to get him over here, and by the time he got over here, he was dead, yeah, right? he was, like, pretty much brain dead when he came. So, like, I can play. who knows what the that. fuck they did to him. But he broke the law. You break the law. Yeah, in North Korea. Especially in a fucking country like that, you're stupid. Yeah, how dumb can you be? Like, uh, you're in North Korea. Prior to this, if they had invited you to go to North Korea, would you have gone? No. You never would have? I think I would have, but no, I wouldn't. What What changed? I think Kim Jong-un is actually dead. Has anybody actually seen him? No, he's so- hiding because of COVID. But remember they said that he had like that major heart surgery or whatever? No, he came out. He he made a he made a a public appearance. Oh, that. he did? Yeah, okay, I think okay, so. Okay, I don't I fucking know. I'm not a Well, they were saying his sister's the next in line to take over, but there's never Have been you a seen a picture yet. of her? No. She looks completely like, like She him? looks like a fucking evil Well, I'm sure. leader like it's nuts. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> But well, she doesn't look like him. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know what's going on. What in your world, Anna? What would you do to fix this world? Oh God! Uh, I think <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs to like maybe smoke some pot, like as as one. You know what I'm saying? I just come together and like four twenty. Yeah. <laughs> the entire world, and if you don't, yeah. What about me? I don't smoke. Well, then you need to just for the time being, just for the one time where the world gets high. No, I don't know what I don't know what I would do. This you, world's fucked. There's too many evil people. You didn't, yeah, you, you didn't bring any. You didn't bring any marijuana with you today. No. I thought you were. No, I was too busy because I was at work. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. This. And I didn't want to smoke on camera. Okay. Because then you can't monetize it, right? No. On YouTube. Nah, I don't know. Mm. No, it's like... I didn't want to ruin your chances of monetizing. No, I think it's... Uh, I don't know much about that. I think it's like if you... Copyright issues. Mm. If you play like people's music or a TV show or whatever, that might get you fucked. Oh, okay. But people... I don't, I don't think as long as you're not doing like lines on the fucking table, <laughs> you'd be all right. No, thank you. Or being getting... <laughs> yeah. Like people getting naked, like then I think it would be all right. But... But I didn't just want to smoke by myself, too, because I knew you didn't smoke. Yeah, so. yeah. This, you know what? Actually, the guy before you I did on Wednesday, he rolled up a... How long does it... Have you... Can you roll a blunt? Mm-hmm. I'm not talking shit about him at all. Like, how, long does it, how long does it take you to roll a blunt? Five minutes, maybe. <laughs> I think it took him... We did an hour and 15 minutes. Shout out to DJ Ox. My bad, bro. <laughs> but I really think, like... I really question how long it took you to roll that fucking blunt. It took him an hour. And was he, he already stoned? Or I can't. I don't know. Maybe it was just... He had a backwood and a bunch of Oh, wheat. I can't roll a backwood. Okay. I just so, do like swishers or white owls. I don't even want to pretend like... Like I know what the... Like backwood holds more, right? Like, it's like, I guess, yeah. It's more like so it is like stuff. I was editing the video today and I'm like... Oh, you took an hour and a, like almost the whole time to roll this <laughs> shit up, bro. That's kind of funny. And then, and then he was like, man, I kind of wish we could sit here and smoke this. I'm like, man, if you had rolled it right. 45 minutes before, come on, bro. That's funny. But, you know, I didn't know, like, what the average time to roll a blunt. I know, I didn't, I didn't like feel like it was minutes. right. Yeah. I didn't feel like no, it was right. No, no, like, not even five minutes, actually. Well, bring it out. Let's just see. Let's see how long it takes. It. It. Oh, no. I don't have it with me. It's all at home. Your business wouldn't care? I'm my own boss. You just pay rent, right? Mm Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm just so new that it, like, I'm, I'm like, breaking even, I'd say. That's, I mean, that's better than that. it's better than not, yeah, I know, but. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I have to burp. I can't, I gotta keep it real. I'm gonna fart and burp and run I'm sorry. I'm just gonna do it. You were drinking beer. There you go. But if a fart comes out, I'm sorry. It's just gonna happen. No, you're fine. Just so you guys, damn it, this. It's fucked up. I think I just unplugged it with my feet. Yeah, I did. So then we're going to have technical difficulties because this is new and all these fucking wires are everywhere. So, but you guys can't see them, so you'll be all right. You see all this shit? Yeah. I can't figure out what to do with it. And I, I, I don't I, know how people keep cords organized. I was mainly worried about your 
your area so you don't get all fucking oh, fucked I'm up. Fine. I have like tons of cords at work too. It looks worse than this. Yeah, um, who, who did your hair? Did you do it? No, this girl that I work with, Kayla. Do y'all like give each other a. I didn't do her hair. Her hair had already been done like the day before. But yeah, you're just kind of bored. So you're like, throw something on there. And it's free? It's what? Is it free? That's what I mean. Like, yeah, when you all yeah, do it to each free. other? Yeah. Well, I paid her. I tipped her 30 bucks because she didn't have to do all that, you know? But yeah, it's free. So uh, how did you, since you're, this is like your. You're new to the game. How did you pull in clients? Or how are you pulling in clients? Mm, okay, I'm posting in a bunch of, like, Facebook groups, like those stupid marketplace groups or whatever. And then I just set up my Groupon, which is really going to suck, but at least if I can get people in, then maybe they'll come back. But, like, so I set my price, and then Groupon gets a certain percentage. So, like, if the customer's paying $100, I'm technically only getting 50 because Groupon gets Jesus busy. Christ. Yeah. I was like, oh. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. I, my mom suggested that I do it, but I don't know how much I want to actually do it. I mean, I need people, but in, and if I tell them that I'll only do it like that for one time. Yeah. Yeah. Just do a good job, and then you get yeah. them back. Maybe, but I feel like if they're so cheap, they're using it on Groupon, then, <laughs> you know, like, are they going to come back? She says some do, so... I feel like that place you're at is, like, young people almost, right? You know what I mean? I'm ready for tech to come back to school because yeah. I think, yeah. I think I need to make some, like, flyers or something and, like, hit up the sorority houses. Ew. But. Ew. <laughs> but, like, those are the kind of girls that I want, you know? Yeah. The girls that have money and the girls that need their hair done all the time, the girls that need extensions. and. Yeah, man, you hit them up and every yeah. week or something. Yeah. Uh, they're not all bad. You know, I don't. Not to get into it, but I've, I don't really haven't had any run-ins with those like girls. Like they were always nice to me. I'm not yeah. a girl, so I don't. Yeah, know. So, I, I mean, I've never really had many like run-ins with them either, except for if I'm on like Broadway and then they're like drunk. And... I think that was my favorite part of going to Broadway is watching them be the drunk, drunk and girls, stupid. They're dumb. They're so <laughs> dumb. Funny as hell. <laughs> I'm just like Ali oh, here. God bless your soul. I know. Yeah. You've been going, you going out or anything? Like, mm, I've been to, going to a few house parties. Mm, that's about it. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta keep my distance. Yeah. Uh, Lil Woodrow's opened back up, though. I saw that. I did. And I was. I'll probably go. Eventually. You gonna take Jordan? She's you funny. See, so you kind of, is it because you've been liberated? You think? Like, I know disrespect, like... <laughs> now that you like party oh. and bars and shit like that, or is it just you've always been like that? I've always gone out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But now you're a little bit more yeah. on the free end. On the free end. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> yeah. So, so y'all don't know. Our first uh, married woman and divorced woman on the podcast. So there you it's go. It's me. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Will yeah. you hand me another white cloth? Yeah, got you. How long have you been doing your podcast? Uh, oh, sorry. That's okay. I looked it up. It's been, you know, this week sometime I uh, looked it up. August 18th, 2019 was my first one ever. Okay. So it's been, I literally looked up the days. It's like more than 75% of a year. Not to sound like a nerd, it's been like 200 some odd days. But yeah, this is episode 58. Okay. I'm probably done more than that. You mean open that for you? No, I got it. <laughs> Kept twisting around and couldn't grab it. Uh, <laughs> me and my friend Kelsey wanted to start a podcast, and I bought like a mic and everything, and mm, no, we are not technical enough for that. Yeah, that's what. But uh, we talk so much that I know we could have a podcast easy. Yeah, just um, you know, when I did it at the beginning, I just I literally just recorded off my phone. Really. It amplifies the sound because when you mm-hmm. take the headphones off, it's further. So whatever, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But yeah, I was just recording for like the first fucking all the way up to before quarantine. Okay. 
I was recording it off of my phone. Like the phone's good, good uh, audio quality. Just do it unless you want to be seen like this. Hmm. That then when you add cameras, it's a whole different. It's level. a whole other level. But if you just did phone. No, I bought one of those like snowball mics, and I was like trying to set it up to my MacBook that I used to have. I don't have it anymore, and I couldn't even get it to pick up any audio. I was oh, so no. confused. I was like, "Fuck this." Just do it off your phone. Okay, I didn't know. You, I didn't know people did that. Yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, if you yeah, what were y'all gonna do? Just conversate, converse. Uh. Yeah, we had had an idea, but I think we would want to change it now. I think we would want to go more like true crime like everybody else but did you yeah you put a jordan on that shit yeah i was like dude just listen to this shit people are fucking wild what is it like telling stories of yeah. crime or is it yeah, like, like you just like find a case that's like kind of interesting and you just like get all the details in it and you find out like how fucked up like everything is like you know from not- like the justice system to like um <clears throat> just everything not to sound ignorant or dumb, but like women are like really like that shit. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are really into that crazy. fucking shit. <laughs> like you romanticize like killers and shit. It's like I don't romanticize the killers. I just no, think but like, like sometimes. It's oh, more, sometimes yeah, yeah, like Ted Bundy. You, okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, like that. Yeah. Definitely. Like, have you seen them? Like the original interviews with those women back then, they were like, "He's hot. He didn't do it." Yeah, you they're know, like, like... I don't think he did. I mean, the same thing happened with OJ. I don't know much about that. Was he, he a good-looking man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think OJ's <laughs> okay, attractive, well, he but star. he was he's, a star. Okay, he was so a star. everyone was like... Like, even the cops were like, oh my God, OJ. And it's like, he just fucking killed his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was... Because I, I, when the... I got obsessed with Ted Bundy, to be honest. I really did. I feel like <laughs> he could have kidnapped me. Yeah. I feel like I would have fell huh? for it. You would have fell for it? Like, Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty suspicious of people. Yeah, but I don't want to sound weird or nothing, but, like, back then, like, even if you were suspicious, like, he could have took you away and nobody would ever have known. You don't have a cell phone. Yeah, you have enough. no GPS. Hey, like, Mom, I'm nothing. going out. I'll be back tomorrow. You never come back. And mm-hmm. he, like... He had some, like, even as a man, he attracted me. I'm like, what the fuck? I might have gone right, to hang out smart. with him. smart. Yeah, I, I would have gone to hang out with him. If you would have been like, you want to go get something to drink? Sure, why not? And he would have fucking murdered me. Have you ever heard of John Wayne Gacy? I've heard of him, yeah. But Do you know what he did and everything? Was that the clown? Yeah, he yeah. liked clowns. Okay, so he liked, like, younger boys, like 14-year-old boys. And he was married and had children the entire time that he was stuffing the bodies of dead boys pubescent boys in his basement and finally his wife was like it smells really weird in here like what (laughs) and the only reason he got caught is because he finally like the last boy that like came to his house called his mom and said hey i met this guy and i'm gonna go to his house he wants to talk to me about a job but none of the other boys were in contact with their parents they were all like runaways and stuff but this one kid yeah who still ended up dying but still there were people looking for him. Yeah, I got I got obsessed with like not really all those guys, but the 80s, 70s, 60s, 70s, and eighties. Like, if you think about it, it was like, like again, no disrespect. It's like those were prime like murder. Time. Yeah, because you those could. Really, yeah, you can't do the same really, thing. As you can't days. do it now. No. Now the elite do it. If, don't mm. kill. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like if you like hear all those like with with um. Let's get, if you hear all those like stories about um, Ted Bundy, it's like he knew how to play the police and like information mm-hmm. and shit. Like he knew what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. I hear it. I'm gonna look up how many uh, kids John Wayne Gacy, like how many victims, because it's a lot. And for them all to be like stuffed in his house, like in in a crawl space in his house, not even like the basement, just like. Yeah, I, I I heard um Ted not Ted Bundy again um Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh yeah. He would um. At least thirty three young men. You, yeah, that's a big number. And then if you hear like with all these guys, they say at least. Like, at they least. don't know. No. They can't account. Like they because say I think he started running out of room, and then he had to go like out to some river or some shit like. And that. you can't account for all the 
Like, even earlier times. Like, what if he didn't... Right. You know what I mean? Like, they could have been fucking 100. Like, it's crazy. Oh, it's so weird. Like... It's it weird, but it's like it it, it 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 freaks you out, and it's and it's nasty, and it's gross, and it's kind of like enticing. It's intri- that's it why girls in- love true crime. <laughs> I think that's what I, I have. Like, like three <laughs> true crime podcasts that I listen to. Fuck, uh, like is this modern times or is it like? Uh, they get, it just depends. Like they'll just pick like okay during Pride Month, uh, Crime Junkie, all four weeks they picked like true crime against like gay people. Yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna say about Jeffrey Dahmer, like. He picked, he was killing black, black gay guys. And that was like two of the ones like cops didn't give a fuck about. Right, you so know, no one's going to find them. Like didn't give a fuck about either. Especially if you were with both, then they really didn't give a fuck. Right. So those right, guys okay. are, well, you can't do that now, but. No. I did see a TikTok recently of like these. I love TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Child. Follow me on TikTok. Anyway. What is it if you want to uh, Anna Casey 29 or something. I don't know. Do you, I didn't intend on posting TikToks when I made it, so I don't... Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I you have like quite you? a few. I have one that has almost um, a thousand likes, and nice. it has almost a hundred thousand views. So the like to... Oh, shit. I did not expect it to blow up like that, but it did. The like to view ratio still isn't that great, but whatever. I mean, a hundred thousand, that's a lot. Views, I would yeah. take a, I'd take 100,000 views over in no likes. It's not even my <laughs> best TikTok. I'm like, this is stupid. It's usually how it happens, right? Yeah, I know. What were you doing? Um, <laughs> It was like a... Did you see that trainer? It's like, choose your character. And it's like... Dun, dun, dun. Like, remember when you would play like um, some game and you would like choose yeah, your character? Like a fighter game? Like a fighter game, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I did it at work and I did like choose your bartender. And it was like uh, <laughs> speedy, and then I did like the craft cocktails, and then the other bartender's being a fucking bitch. She'll never see this. But I hate you, Brittany. Anyway, um, she was like, "What? Why are we doing this? I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. I didn't think I'd be on camera today." And I'm like, "It's a fucking TikTok, Brittany. Make it like or <laughs> shut up." So she didn't want to make it. So I filled in, and I was the third bartender. Or where, where was that at? At Harrigan's. So Harrigan's is a bar? Where is this place at? It's on 118th in Indiana. 118th? Mm-hmm. Way the fuck out there. But it's a restaurant, but then there's a bar area. And this guy owns it? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. What if he's a fucking serial killer out He's there? not. No, he's not. when he sent pictures twice of us pulling up... It was just once. No, he did it again. Or he... he he was, like, outside looking at us. Okay, because he's, like, Mr., like, uh, anti-government, like, very, like... Okay, like, so the whole mask situation, he was, like, don't... You don't have to wear a fucking mask in my restaurant. He was, like... Oh, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, okay. he was, like... It's, and then he was, like, if the police or any local government try to come into my establishment, they are not allowed. Wow. <laughs> that's what... That's, Boy, He's a real ass dude, honestly. Well, it was just like, I've been here for seven years, and uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year. Well, I think what had happened. It doesn't matter. Like after you did that, after he did that, he he showed up. At, like now I see him after all those years. Is yeah, that is kind of weird. It's just weird. Maybe he's a good guy. He, he, I promise he is. And honestly, if there's ever like an apocalypse, you want to go over there. Like that dude is like a a doomsday prepper. Okay. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> what I was getting at, shout out to him. My bad, Harrigan's. You're probably a good <laughs> place. Um, I was watching a TikTok of like this series of kids who were like, hey, look, it's a, I think they was in San Francisco. Could be wrong. It was somewhere with the bay, with with, with water, mm. and they were like, "Hey, look at this suitcase!" <gasps> and the suitcase pulled up. Rando nodding. That's what they did. They went rando nodding. Uh, and then they ended up finding the dead body. Okay, so they like open it and it smells. So rando nodding is this app where it. Okay, I'm not into physics or whatever the fuck that this is, but you it pulls up like anomalies or like voids. Or, like, somewhere where there's a lot of energy. And so you're supposed to, like, sit there and, like, manifest, like, what you want to find. So, like, dead body or, like, ghost or something or creepy. 
and you go and like weird shit like that happens. I have a story about it too. But. Okay, we'll get to that. Hold that. Yeah, so like they see the they see the suitcase and they're like playing around like maybe there's money. And they open it and there's the smells or whatever and it's a fucking dead body I saw in there. That video, yeah. So then I'm looking at the comments. Again, it's comments on Twitter, who knows? But they're like this they're not investigating this. This could be a serial killer in this area. And like, you don't even know. Yeah, it's fucking it is fucking just is I don't know. But like I saw that and I thought of, I was like, what the fuck, man? That yeah. it just they did a good job on the TikTok because the noise was creepy and it freaked me out. Like noise is mm-hmm. creepy. It was it was a good one. So. Okay, so we went random on me. <laughs> we were at Fuzzies and we were drinking and we're like, fuck it, what do we have to do? Like it's still like technically like quarantine or like nowhere's open. We we're like Okay, so we all manifested, like, ghost or something, right? So we get this address, and we drive, and we pull up, and it says, like, this is your destination. Everyone's like, this is just a neighborhood. And I look, like, at this house, and I said, that was my friend Matt's house. And my friend Matt died, like, six years ago. Oh, shit. I was like... I don't know if this is just a coincidence or like we all manifested a ghost and it brought us to fucking Matt's house. I don't know, but we went home after that because I was just a little bit too much. Have you ever, do you believe in spirits and ghosts? Yeah, for sure. Have you seen one? Okay, so sometimes in my house, I feel like I see like a figure, but I don't know. Okay, so I, I, because I've been listening, I was listening to a podcast and they were just joking about it and I was thinking about it and I forgot about this. So I have two different occasions. Like, so you know, um, the first one, the first one's like a feeling, it wasn't visible. So the first one, this one was with Jordan and and, um, her mom's ex boyfriend, Eric. Eric. He died. So this guy's a, whatever. It doesn't matter what he was, but he was not, his, his energy was bad. Let's just say that. Bad. So he had bad energy, and I'll give you backstory, guys. Uh, me and Jordan, I spent the night at her house. We had first started dating and whatever. And I spent the night at her house, and I got to go to school in the morning, so I leave. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. She has to go to work. And we hear, like, moaning in her mom's room because I'm going through the garage, to, and her mom's room is there, there. And the first thing I think is, like, oh, these motherfuckers having sex. What the fuck? So I go to school. And it's probably about lunchtime. So that was seven. It's about lunchtime. Jordan's like, guess what? And I'm like, well, what? So this motherfucker died. Oh, I know. I remember. So that he's day. moaning because he had like a bad heart or some shit. And he's mm-hmm. like, he's fucking, having a heart attack. He's basically day. dying this whole morning and I heard it. So he dies in the bathtub and her mom finds it. So, yeah, it was so really number dramatic. one, like bad energy with him. He dies in the house. I imagine that's not you good. You know what's crazy? My mom called me. And she said, Eric's in the hospital. And I said, oh, if he died, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And, and, and Jordan said that today. She was like, it's a blessing. Well, I shouldn't put her, I shouldn't put her business out there but with her and her mom. But, you know, he's a human being. Right. And it's sad. It and he, he had He had kids and shit. But, you know, he wasn't the best. I'm not saying he deserved that. So that, I imagine all that negativity and that energy was already there. And then her mom, who's dating him or whatever, he's living with them, sees it. So that adds to it. So when I would stay at their house, I'm not kidding. Like, it was fucking just weird, and I'd have bad dreams, horrible dreams. And she just said her mom's new boyfriend experiences experiencing crazy shit. That house needs to be saged That's what the I, fuck I, out. Well, I said the priest, but you know, whatever, whatever. Both. Blessed, whatever. So like that, that, that can, I think that's more plausible than my other story, because I do believe in energy, mm-hmm. and it sticks there. He died there. Yeah. And she it, found I, him dead in the bathtub. And, and and I don't know, like, not to get deep or not, like, or religious, like, I don't know, but to me, you know, or sage or, or shaman, I think guys who are trained in the goodness can, dis- like, expel that shit, mm-hmm. and it needs to happen at that time. It needs because to. Because it, it apparently is still there. But that it's it's a fucking like it's a, it was creepy and and I guarantee if you went there and sat there you would know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? And I do yeah. think so. That, that's my first. My first, I'll get to you like what you think. Like my first thing is like energy staying and bad energy and good energy. Mm-hmm. And so my second story is, I was at my, I was at um in post, with my family and I was at my cousin's house and I walked to my grandma's house, and I physically see the shadow. And yeah. It's like, 
like there's like a shadow from the light and then there's a dark shadow and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like it's visible, way taller than me. And then it disappears and I hear, feel wind hit me. So I'm not lying, like whatever, I mean. So that's my two things and I'm like, you know, this, I really do think that this shit, I've been thinking about it, I really do think this shit is like. There's a realm here that we can't, that we don't see. Yeah. Well, there's yeah, probably somebody in this room right now with us. Maybe no, not. they they did say like <laughs> I don't know. Like they, the lady here, I think she did die. Like she died in this house. I think I might have been wrong on that, but that was a long time ago. But I in just my, feel like like shit like that. Like if for you to feel it, it has to take a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. And that motherfucker left a lot of energy. Fuck that motherfucker. I yeah. And I almost feel like with him, if you know him, like. Is spiteful. I, I feel <laughs> no? so bad for her, my mom calling me and saying, Eric's in the hospital, it's not good. I feel so bad for the words, if he dies, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it, Coming out of my mouth, because then literally 15 minutes later, I get a call, he died. I was like, yeah, he, oh, he, um, fuck. He I never, was like, I feel like I spoke that into yeah, existence, he, he never but really I didn't, you know, it wasn't me. Well, he never went to the hospital, from what I understand. Like, he was dead already at the house. And and that nobody explained it to me that way. Had they have explained (laughs) it to me that way, I would have never said that. My mom calls me casually, hey, Eric's in the hospital. Um, Apparently, it's, like, not, like, a great situation. I was like, oh, that sucks, you know. And then, like. (laughs) (laughs) To give you a frame, those listening, a reference, like, Anna's response wasn't too far off from everybody else's response. Right, yeah. It wasn't. Uh, Jordan's mom, who was dating the man, you know, I don't mean to put her business, but she's doing way better now. Yeah. It was a blessing <laughs> you in know, disguise. It really like, sometimes was. you have to, like, hit rock bottom before, like... And it kind of sucks that a human being had to take that L for it to happen. But I didn't know him, but I, Jordan tells me stories about, like, how much of a creep and weirdo, and I tell you, I felt it when I would stay there. And I did, like, I... We were talking about it today, literally, and I feel like he, he was such a creep. It's almost like he was such a bad guy. He He's doing it out of Even spite. Even now. He's doing yeah. it out of spite now. Like Yeah, because he died like, there. He's like, fuck y'all. I'm going to fuck with y'all until you get me out of here. Mm-mm. So that's why I feel like those two instances, I really feel like maybe there isn't an afterlife. I don't know, but I feel like your soul or your spirit or your energy stays somewhere if it's like that bad. I don't even know how I feel feel about that you know kind of I mean? shit i feel so weird about i don't know what well, happens was, to us when was, we die oh i you know but i was just thinking about like you know murders we're talking about murders yeah like if if, if there was a place where Ooh, there john was, wayne gacy's house is probably yeah, so know, if there, uh, fucking if there was a place like that or associated with just shit is like man that has to stick there was a theory called i don't know what it was but like yeah it's just it i think like like it and then you feed it like if like if you're staying there, you feed mm-hmm. into it when you think about it, and it's like crazy. Yeah, you. Feed I'm very energy. much interested in that. Like shit, we don't know. That house definitely needs to be blessed. I think so too. Like, that's a fucking. That's a, it, yeah. It's just. I couldn't <laughs> live there anymore after finding his body and everything like that. I couldn't do it. I don't think I could either, especially because like her room. It's yeah. like her room and her shower. Was like, yeah. I think Jordan said she cleaned up. Like he fell in the shower and it was bloody. There was blo- He was blue he, by he, the time he, she found him. So yeah. like, yeah. So like he died in the shower, but he fell. So Jordan cleaned it up. I'm like, that's right next to where you sleep. Like that's right. Now I get, I couldn't. I could not. I don't care how long I've lived in the house. I don't care. Yeah, if I don't know. It's paid <laughs> off. I don't care. I'll move to a smaller house. Like I don't mean to get into that th- this conversation to go like that, but I also think like. Like when you sleep, you know. It's tell there. me to stop. It's no, still no, no, no. There. tell me, tell me to stop if I'm being weird. But like, like no, when you sleep, like, because I've said this before. Like when you, when, it's like being drunk or high. Like when you, you let your guard down, mm-hmm. like you let your 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 or whatever you want to call For it. For sure. So when you sleep, like your shit's down. So something bad might just fucking come over and fuck with you while you're while it's down. And then when you wake up, it's like okay, you can't fuck with me because I'm aware. Right. So I think when you sleep, like, bad shit happens to you, like, bad dreams because yeah, your I guard's think, on. I feel like when you sleep, I <laughs> I don't know, like, how exactly to go into this, but I feel like there's almost, like, another realm that you, like, cross over I into. think you can. I definitely think you can. Yeah. Or, 
I've said it's it like again. what are dreams? Yeah. And I think Have you that, ever had a dream about someone and then they're like, Oh, I also dreamt about you last night? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, How are you yeah. telling me that we both dreamt about each other? Yeah, I've had like that or I've had dreams where I've I've had dreams about shit and it came up in my life the next day or something. Yeah. Like so like that I think there's definitely like like you transcend realms or realities when you when you dream. Yeah. And it maybe time doesn't exist in those. Well, you know what time's I'm saying? not real anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. But Time's only relevant to us because of our position in like the solar that's system. That's true. That's that's very much a proven fact, right? Yeah. So time's different everywhere else. So it's and it, time zones. Well, time zones are stupid. That's so they dumb. They shouldn't be. Any, they're not useful anymore. No. But, no, like it's crazy how we're talking about this now because I've I talked about it literally with Jordan earlier and then I just because she told me about. Ty, I think his name, her mom's new boyfriend. <laughs> he's so he, nice. he, he, he kind of like lost his, like he kind of fell into like this trance. It's, you have to tell her to tell you. It's like weird. I and, haven't talked to her about that. Yeah, I, I think it to. literally just happened. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like either yesterday or the day before. And then I was thinking, of, and then we brought up murders and just bad energy and ghosts. And I was like, oh, I wonder if you believe in ghosts or. For sure. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> At my grandma's house, like, I grew up living at my grandma's house. That's right down the street, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And my nana died in that house. And, but she's more good energy. Her, her mom? Yes. Okay. My grandma's mom, nana, sorry. Yeah, she's more, like, positive energy, I'd say, because she just died of, like, old age. She died in the spare bedroom, but certain stuff would happen, and we'd be like, oh, that's just nana. Yeah. (laughs) No big deal. It's just nan nan. Yeah, that, I think that's equally as creepy if we're being honest. But it's still like it's better. But it's than, more family. It's, yeah, it's, be, like, it's okay. better. It's better than somebody haunting your dreams. Yeah. Like I think my mom was like vacuuming one time and the vacuum just turned off. And she's like nan nan, stop it, and it turned back on. And yeah, I, I've heard a lot of stories like that. Like what? Somebody. And you was, can't really. It could just be a short. You don't know what to blame it on. But I heard a story about how. This lady, I don't remember who it was. It kind of relates to that, how, like, this girl's grandma would stay in the back room. And her husband had recently died, and she'd be laughing, and they'd be like, what the fuck are you laughing at? And she's like, your, your grandpa is tickling my feet. And they're what like, the hell? Yeah, that's, like, like, something like that. You know, That's like, scary. It's like something like that. And I've heard, I've heard stories like that. Like, like, your grandpa's tickling my feet? What the I, fuck? I, 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 there's a lot we don't know, and I really, yeah. I really do believe, like, that would, you know, first of all, I think it would suck if, or if you die and like there was another place to go, but you can you choose you to stay, stay here. here. God, why to, would you want to or, stay here or any for, longer? Or for some reason, you have to. You oh. know what I mean, maybe mm-hmm. like you don't have a choice. That was. Do you suck. think that there's like a mission that you have to accomplish as a ghost before you can move on? You know, like like maybe you didn't say goodbye to a certain someone, or maybe do you know what I'm saying? People say that like, oh, he hasn't moved on yet. I think. There's a mission with bad, like you have to get them out. Like they want, you know, yeah. with the bad, they need to be there. But with the good, I don't know. Maybe it's like when you're, like, no disrespect, like maybe she's there, your great grandma is there because she's protecting your grandma. And then when your grandma goes, maybe she'll, she'll go, finally go. Maybe you're you right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or mm-hmm. if y'all move that house, then they'll like, okay, I can, I can go. Rest now. Peace. I yeah. do think so. I mean, there's got to be a reason if that's her. Because, like, why would why would they stay around? Why would yeah. they get trapped here? Or does everybody get trapped here? I don't, I don't know. Like, maybe, like... <laughs> Just where you die, is that where you get trapped? I want to say... Like, again, that would fucking suck. I, I want to say... I do want to say, like, I believe if a tragedy happened, you're stuck. For, until somebody blesses you or... Until there's closure or something. There just can't be like... That makes me want to go bless the place that my grandpa died at. Like, because he died in a car wreck, you know? So that makes me want to go out there and just be like... Or or maybe it takes, you know, his loved ones being like, you know, grandpa... Just go. It's time for you to go, man. I don't know. I do think, like... I I don't know. I do think certain things stick... Make you stick here. Or maybe you get lucky and just get the fuck out. But tragic shit make I do think tragic shit makes you stay. I really yeah. do believe that. There's no way. There's no way. Right. You, you, if you're still fucking around, like it. 
her mom's house. Fuck, man. You want to know something weird? Um, okay, so my grandpa died on a Monday, and like that weekend before he died, he changed my grandma's tires, he changed her brakes, he mowed the yard, he cleaned out his closet, and he was just doing a bunch of like housekeeping things that like you don't normally do and then that sunday when we were all hanging out he was like i'm probably gonna get, die looking at a claim because he was a insurance adjuster so he would like drive to look at like and he's and he died looking at a fucking claim the next fucking day like, yeah what so like i think when i think you also kind of know i think if, yeah, from what i've heard about him i think you know good spirits know because yeah, even like, uh, good Good Even ones. Eric, like you're saying, he had kept like feeling his chest, and he was like, "I don't feel right. I don't feel right, but I'm not gonna go to the doctor." Like I think he kind of knew too. I would, I would, you know, if that's the case, I would hope I'm, I'm lucky enough to know. I want to know. I do. I'm not gonna lie. I would. Wanna I want to be murdered. <sighs> I want to be murdered. No, you don't. Yes, it's it gonna is. hurt. It's gonna. No, hurt. no. I'm not saying I want to be tortured, but let's say I'm driving down the street. I'm parked at a stop sign and someone comes up and says give me your fucking car and i say no and then they shoot me is that the worst way to die is that the worst way to die depends i think i think being murdered would be fine I've seen a i don't lot want to of, be tortured i've seen a lot i've seen a lot of murder videos unfortunately you're gonna be stuck there like we're just saying your fucking soul is gonna be there until we get you out of there somehow i guess i don't know i just think out of like the other ways to die, it seems like a so that's the way you want to go. I don't want to go that way. I don't know how I want to die. Really, I think about death a lot. I'm thinking about. I definitely don't want to drown. That sounds horrible. Definitely don't want to burn. That sounds horrible. Yeah, I think they literally say those are two of the most painful deaths ever. Number one, I don't like water. That would just be like the worst experience for me. And then burning is just ew. You don't. You just. Because all your nerve endings burn, and then you just no. End you're up feeling it until that until that all yeah. burns, and then you're just waiting until you die. Yeah. 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 Or then you might survive. That would be even worse. If I'm ever like <laughs> oh, a vegetable no, no, or no, something, no, 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 no. come in and pull the cord, someone, please. If my life is not worth, it. And you know, I think about it too. Like, if life isn't fucked up enough as it is, like you don't get to pick how you're gonna die. Like it's like. <laughs> you can't just let us fucking decide. Come on, man. I want to go out peacefully. Just let me die in yeah. my sleep. Yeah. Or cut my head off. Oh. Who's going to... That's also being murdered. Yeah, but you die like that. Yeah. In a gunshot, you might bleed out. You might feel it Speaking of true crime, I was listening to this episode the other day. This lady was pregnant, and she found this Craigslist article for some baby clothes. She was like eight months pregnant, and... Oh, Jesus. Boy, just wait. So she says, <laughs> the way, so she meets up with the lady at her house, and the other lady's apparently pregnant as well. But she doesn't really look pregnant, but, you know, sometimes people just don't look pregnant. Whatever. <laughs> this lady start like, the lady was about to leave, then she's like, oh, wait, I have some more baby clothes down in the basement. Would you like to come down to the basement? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so she gets her down there. And she's like, no, I don't really like these baby clothes. So she tries to leave, and she keeps hitting her in the back of the head. And she's like, why are you hitting me? And then I don't really remember what she did. But somehow they started, like, arguing and fighting. And she ends up, like, hitting her with a lava lamp in the neck. And, like, so she, this preg this seventh or eight month pregnant lady is like sliced in the neck with this fucking lava lamp, getting beat up by this crazy person. And she, the lady who's pregnant says, I love you, please stop. Like she's just like trying to get her to stop. And then that lady like knocks her unconscious, oh. gets her baby out oh, because sorry. she's not actually pregnant, but she needed the baby because her husband thought she was pregnant. Oh, was this is like somewhere insane. in Colorado. I was, I was hoping you wouldn't say that. That's exactly what happened, and so uh, I don't, I don't quite remember what happened because I've been drinking these white claws. I don't know. Something happened, and the baby died, obviously. Uh -huh. And the lady was, she tells her husband that she miscarried and stuff, and then the doctor's like, "No, like, what are you talking about?" And then the lady was knocked out in her house, and she like finally wakes up, and she's like. 
dude, like I have this baby just ripped out of me. Oh, no. And she says her intestines are falling out and everything, but somehow she like makes it to like lock the door and then she realized no one was coming back. So she made it to a telephone or something like that. And she called the cops. She survived. Oh. This woman's still alive. And that lady didn't get murder charges or anything because the baby technically didn't die because Ew. she cut it out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is she in prison at least? I think so, but it wasn't for like as long as like. Oh no, I knew you were going to say that. First yeah. of all, what's the, a pregnant lady doing alone? Yeah, doing that's, alone? What the, that's what the podcast was saying. Yeah, was like, meet in a parking lot. Like, don't. Bring somebody with you. And she said she knew as soon as she walked in that something felt wrong. Of course she did. Of course she did. And she said she should have walked out, but she didn't want to be rude. And look what happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, and now gosh. she's a counselor and stuff. Is she allowed, like, can she still have babies? And that was that yeah. mentioned in the podcast? Mm, probably. I don't think so. Oh. Isn't that so sad? It's horrific. She got to hold her baby for like, I mean, she was dead, but she got to hold her baby for like an hour or something and like just sing to it. It was so sad. Yeah. yeah. You don't need it. No, what the fuck? <laughs> that was sad. Sadly, women and men don't go to strangers' houses alone. No, never do that. Always meet up in like the Walmart parking lot or something. Like, Some place where there's lots of people to watch you. <laughs> oh, fuck. No way. I know. Why do I listen to this shit? I think we explained why earlier. <laughs> we just, y'all just love this shit. Yeah. But that was girl on girl crime. That wasn't like a murder. That was like a. She could have died. Had she had been like five minutes later. Well, I mean, like a serial killer. My bad. That wasn't like a serial killer. Yeah. They have to be fucked up to do that, though. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it interests all of us, like murder. I think it's because it's something that, like, we don't get to see every day or anything. Yeah. We act like we want to or be a part of it, but no. But we don't. Hell yeah. no, we don't. No. Want. Hell no. Fuck that. Definitely. This is getting me in the Halloween mood. I'm ready for that. <gasps> I'm ready for the fall, too. <laughs> Tomorrow's August, so we're three months away. Finally. It's been, I'm just ready for this fucking year to be over. Sorry. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you're, you're doing all right in the quarantine? You're surviving? Yeah, it wasn't too Obviously, bad. you don't give a fuck about COVID. You're going to fucking parties. You bring, now, bring I my girlfriend along to parties. I didn't do that. I just started doing that like three weeks ago. The first party I went to was on 4th of July. Okay, that's ex- that, that's excusable because it's 4th of July. Who cares? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, who cares? America, let's have everybody get sick. No, um... Personally, I think I had the coronavirus like late December, early January. I was sick for a really long time and they didn't know what it was and nothing I took helped me and I actually thought I was dying. Yeah, my friend. It happened to my friend. I'm not. And I think America's too far gone at this point. There's so many cases that I think that everything should probably just slowly start opening back up, like, everything, you know? There's no point. I, yeah, I have so much distrust in the media, like, in the, in the report, because I've heard personal stories that I know are reliable about how deaths that aren't even at all COVID-related, right. they're like, right. it's COVID. Yeah, they just mark it as COVID so because, I, like, yeah. like, People are like, they're going to die. I'm like, no. Like, my mom, I was like, my mom's a teacher, and I was like, you know... You should just, you know, she, uh, we were talking about, like, kids don't die. That's what I said. And she was mm-hmm. like, well, this kid just died. And I'm like, did he really, though? Can right. we really verify he died from COVID? And that's no disrespect. Because the no. hospitals get paid yeah, more money like, if they're marked as... I, I can't trust to, like, I'm not saying it's not a bad disease. I had a friend who got a couple right. friends. Like, yeah, it's gonna fuck I know you people up. that got it, it's yeah. It's going to fuck you up, but I, I can't trust you if, you if you say you died from it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like... Yeah, but you went. You still went to a party. Not, you still went to. <laughs> been to several parties. Well, but if it makes you feel better, it's all the party with the same people. Nah, I don't give a fuck because okay. I was doing that at the. Okay. I was doing that when it was like horrible, like in March. So. Oh <laughs> yeah, no! I like, stayed home. No, I was doing. I wouldn't even let people in my house. I was like, I, like no. I was. Just, I, I was like, 
When corn, I was out. To well, I didn't even last. see my best friends and smoke with them. I was like, no, I'll see you guys later. No, no, I, I was doing what you were doing now. I was like, literally the last day of quarantine of uh, bars opening, I was at Little Woodruff, and then like I was with my cousin. He had a he has a house, kind of about where you live, and we would go there every weekend. It was the same people, March right. and so April. It's the same it, was, it was March through April, May, May, May. And you didn't get it. I'm here now. It's right. almost August, so and I'm not gonna pay for that antibody test. Oh, man, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not getting either. a test. Uh, no, uh, and I'm not getting the vaccine either. I don't even get You're the flu get shot. It? Hell no. I don't even get the flu shot. I'm kind of scared that they're going to be like... Yeah, no. what the fuck's in that? You're no, no, telling me you came up with a vaccine within like... I trust the vaccine. Seven months? I do. No that, no I, trials or anything? Oh, bam. Take it, everyone. Look at Rattlesnake. Uh, Dr. Drew. My Dr. Boy, Drew. He said it's going to be good, so I believe him and I listen to him. But... It's like I'm anytime not, I've ever uh, got the flu shot, I've got the flu. I'm not taking the fucking coronavirus just, shot. I'm scared that like they're gonna be like, you can't you, like some sort yeah, of ver- you verify. Ver- yeah, like you mm-hmm. did the your vaccine. The mark know. of the beast. Revelations of shit. It does what you believe. I don't, but I mean, like part of me. Okay, I was like raised a Christian. So, why was so. why wouldn't a flu vaccine be a mark of the beast? You know, you know, because know. the flu's never like caused an issue like this. So, uh, well, I guess the Spanish flu, Spanish but that's flu. different. No, this is like a flu, I think. But I don't know. Uh, I I would sacrifice uh, the worry and the angst and the going out. I would. That, if that so means you can like, go to the bar. You would. <laughs> I'd get. A, I don't want to say it directly, damn it! Like, but just other shit. Like, You're right, I might just, do it. <laughs> It's like going to the bar, going to a restaurant. Just going anywhere, like a water yeah. park or... I don't miss the bar. I do. But <laughs> well, I do, but I, I can survive without it because it's a lot of money I spend. Do you know what yeah, I miss? Yeah, I saved a lot of money this year. Do you, yeah, do you know what I miss more than anything that hmm. I haven't done all year? Hmm. It's the movies. I miss the fucking movies. Oh, see, I'm not a big movie goer. A lot I of people love, are. That's one of my favorite things to do. Like, I, I, I really love it and... If I have to take a vaccine to go to the movie, I'm not, movie, I'm not lying to you. I would because I was like, yeah, I guess I put worse things into my body than some <laughs> stupid coronavirus yeah. vaccine. So <laughs> somebody was like, you raw dog, ugly girls, but you won't take a fucking COVID vaccine. It's true. But yeah, I, I, I would, I would really, I really would take the vaccine so I can go to the movies. I missed going to the movies, man. I fucking love doing that shit. Yeah. I read somewhere that like the whole COVID thing really is going to shape like the whole movie industry like more movies are going to start like being streamed automatically and you hate that i think they're already starting that but yeah yeah, it's even more accelerated now because like trolls i mean it's like a huge movie that i cared about but it hit it was a really good movie but it was 20 dollars to rent it my my i watched it It i did i did too it's pretty good it it was (laughs) i'll give him that it was really good actually it was and it was is well worth but it was right when... I, I see that as the future. Yeah. Streaming. It's been coming for a while. Streaming, everything. But something about you know. going to the movies, getting your popcorn, bringing your blankie. <laughs> if that's what you do. I, 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 I just, I miss, like... Because I've watched the revolution of movies in my time where it was like, go there at mid, you know, midnight premieres. Oh, go midnight there, premieres like, are so dope. So you, you, know, you go like there at nine... We, me and my friends would be there. And you nine. wait in line. We'd wait in line till midnight. So we 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 do that, and then we sh- they, and then they shifted to. So we I remember me and my friends would go to midnight premieres. Then they shifted to not twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Mm-hmm. So we'd go, whatever time, and still wait the in line. And then day. they shifted to fucking reserve seating. So then we'd be like, ah, we'll still go. So I remember I just watched it change, and now it's not even gonna be a thing. Like there's gonna be like. Yeah. Two movie theater, maybe one movie theater, and like, but I'm still gonna go. I'm ready for them to open. That's one thing I miss. I'm not a huge like movie theater person, but I will say like the other day I was like, damn, I should go to the movies, and I didn't even realize they were still closed. That's just because I'm not like yeah. a movie theater uh, person, you know. I just I would like to go to the movies. Again. Well, I mean, everything else is open. What the fuck? It's dumb. <laughs> it, it is. It's so ever. The regulations are so stupid. Like, in California, all the hairdressers, not all of them, but in certain counties, got shut down again. And it's like, are you meaning to tell me that they're not sanitary enough? 
Like when your whole fucking test is about being sanitary, you want them to go work outside. The governor approved them to do hair outside, but not inside. It's a slap in the face, honestly. It's stupid. What did my boy Dr. Drew say? Listen to this. He said uh, that those people in Missouri who, who are hairdressers had COVID. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they didn't give it to anybody. They, they did like 100 some odd uh, clients and none of them got it from like, you know, so it's like, what the fuck? You know, so. Cause just wear your mask. It's all about spreading like germs yeah. like that. And it's like. That's why I'm surprised. Like I didn't get it. And back in May, be, yeah. because like when the bars opened, I was in that. Bitch. I was at the roof the night that there was an outbreak. Oh, I wasn't at the fucking roof. I was at uh, I was Woody's. At the roof. Well, that's just as bad. You no, know, that's what I mean. And I remember like they were like fit, they were at twenty five percent, and there was still a shitload of people. And when then I, I was went, at the roof. We said, "Oh, are y'all doing twenty five percent?" He said, "Hell no, nah, we're at a hundred and twenty five percent in this bitch." <laughs> yeah, people don't give a fuck, especially when you're drunk. And then right, like, I didn't care because I hadn't been out in forever. And then so they're like, talking whatever. to people. Like, so, like, I just remember, like, the beginning, they were like, you can't go to this table. I have another white cloth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we can. One more. No, that'll be good. Yeah, I just remember, uh, like, like, you know, when you get there, you're, you're a little anxious and you're, you're at your table. Mm-hmm. And the by the end of the night, you're talking to fucking Joe Schmo and you're, right, you you're hugging mean, them and you're shaking hands. Yeah, like, by the end of the Okay, so at first yeah. that night, we were all like, you know, just to ourselves, like, okay, yeah. it's not a big deal. And then, like, I look at pictures and we have these guys take pictures of us. Some random guy has his arm drenched around us. I don't know who he was. I barely even remember taking the picture, but I he's right here. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm like, I'm surprised I didn't get it back then, because I was doing that. I was in Aces, I'm talking to people. Yeah. I'm shaking hands. I'm pissing. I'm not washing my hands. That's just I mean, a it's a bar. Reality. It's a bar. Yeah, it's just a sad reality. It's like, not- it was like It was like nothing had happened when we went back to the bars in May, when they opened them back. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was like right back to March. Like, you Do know you know think they'll mean? ever open the bars again? Or yeah. like places like that? When? Uh, Next I think year, maybe. Safely. You can do safely now. I agree. I think that they've taken it away from us long enough that people would so, be like, okay. I think places like Chimmies can open. Oh, I've been going to Fuzzies. Okay, yeah, people are doing it now. Fuzzies. I was gonna say like Broadway. No, I won't. I, go, I won't not go to Broadway. That's. I know. I work on Broadway, and it's so weird seeing no one. Like I just yeah. left work, yeah. and it was dead. You know all those, like, where you can park, like, in front of local and stuff? I was the only car parked there. Obviously. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? You know? Well, yeah. Well, on a Friday, too. That's on a, it's good. weird, yeah. It's yeah. A, maybe it'll change. No. It's Not even at Jimmy's, and they serve food. Yeah. I don't know. But I, I, I well, if they open everything back up, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with, like, outdoor places. Yeah. But the I'm roof. not. I'm not fucking. <laughs> no, I, I, they kicked me out, and I won't go back. I won't go back. I love the roof. But I, I'll fuck with like Woody's. Kick me out as much as <laughs> I'll fuck with. Uh, I'll fuck with Jimmy's because it's outdoors. You like but, fuzzies? Uh, I will. Me and but, me, you and Jordan, like we should all go to fuzzies. But I, but like like no disrespect. It's like I, I just everybody's going there right now. That's what oh, it's doing. popping. You know, They're popping. That's what everybody's I doing waited right. in line for twenty minutes <laughs> See, for a drink. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go in the morning like a real alcoholic, I will. But <laughs> but no, I I don't want to go there at, at night. I mean, maybe like on a fucking Tuesday night or something. Yeah. Go next week. The people I was with last time knew the bartender, so they, you know, know what I'm saying. I used to know a bartender there, and that was the worst thing ever for me. Right. You ever have a, a fuzz driver? Mm-hmm. She would give us fucking free uh, buckets of them or whatever. Just. I mean, like, how much are you? Here you go. Like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. And that was cool because in, that was back when I was a thief. You would walk out with that fucking thing. I had like four of them. Yeah. The buckets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to have a bunch of those buckets too. Nice. No, nah, not me. My bad. I didn't oh, yeah. Admit, I didn't the other admit, Roy. I didn't admit to that. That was a Jordan story, not me. <laughs> but no, nah, man. I, yeah, we should go to Fuzzies, but... If you loop me up, then I'll go. But at the beginning, I won't go. But I don't know, because I, like, I pretend like 
I pretend like I'm scared of it, but I. But I, you're not. But I just went to Walmart. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to, I go out to eat every day, Taco Villa with Jordan's I love dad. Taco Villa. He, we eat it every fucking okay, day. Okay, you know what? I saw her tweet the other day, and she was like, fucking fifth time yeah. this week. Okay, I do that because I love it. Me and my yeah. friend Kelsey were like, I told her, I said, my stomach really hurts because all I've been eating is Taco Villa. She said, me too. She's like, I cannot, I eat it like every other day. Like, I can't stop. I know there's other options, and I know they're just as good, but they're, like, putting crack in their red sauce or something. Yeah, we, we eat there Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursdays, whatever, and then Friday I don't eat with him. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going out to there. I'm at the, I went to Walmart, fucking Hobby Lobby. So, I mean, what's fuzzies? Right. What's the difference? Exactly. Like, Do they make you wear a mask? Where? At work? Fuzzies? Oh, at fuzzies? <laughs> um... Yeah, everyone at the standing at the bar was wearing a mask and everything. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's effective or not, but it's comforting to yeah. see people wear it. It is, and I get mad when I see people not wearing it. I walked oh, into, I was mad. in Headhunters the other day, and this guy was just like, and they said, sir, you have to wear a mask. He said, well, do you have one? I was like, motherfucker, you fucking know that you need a mask. As if this is the first place you've walked in in six months. You know? Oh, I, I, oh. And then they were like, sorry, sir, it's, it's the rules. Like, we have a drive through If you want to go through our drive through if you'd rather do that. He walks out to his car, puts on a mask, and comes back in. You have one! Oh, my God. And then I know this girl on my Facebook, she was like... I'm not going to say her name. She does not need any more attention than hey, she I'll gets. I'll block it out. Her name is That's what kind of girl she is. C.I. Anyway, <clears throat> she posted on her Facebook. She was like, uh, my husband was going to Walmart the other day, and I told him, you stand your ground. You do not make them, let, like, you do not let them make you wear a mask. Like, you have your rights. And guess what? He walked out without a mask on and all of our groceries. Hashtag. America, hashtag Trump train. Those people are real, huh? They're real. Oh, man. I, you know. When we get done, I'll show you a picture of her in a bit. I, yeah, that makes sense. I, <laughs> I can picture it in my head, you know. I find it. Stupid dogs. I find it very, 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 very disrespectful now. I like, do too. I'm like, very it's rude. not hard. I'm very rude. It's not hard and to really wear your mask. Me off. You've seen, okay, I know we were talking about China earlier, but you've seen people in China wearing masks since what? Well, like Asian, Asian cultures. Yeah, Asian cultures. They wear. They, wear, they sign it as, like as like a sign, like if they're sick, but like a cold, like as a sign of respect for others. Like it's consideration, not hard. consideration. And people don't have that here. And it really is you know, I get it. Like, I do have more pimples now that I have to wear a mask all day at work. And it is hard for me to breathe. And it does. Pimples? Yeah. Really? Well, under my makeup. But, yeah. Like, uh. I had, like, a cyst right here. I had a cyst right here. One right here. Like, it's called mask knee. Like, it's a thing. But it's because I have to wear it all day at work. Is sweat on that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's just gross. Like. Well, you're, you, yeah, you're right there next to people's face. Yeah, I know? have to wear it. Uh, shouldn't you wear it, with, you know, without COVID being there, you know what I mean, like, or something? I would, I don't know. Like, would you have before COVID? If I was a hairdresser? I, I like when my hairdresser wears gloves, and why not? That's because you go to a barber. You know what I'm saying? You go to a barber? No, but my girl wears gloves. Really? Like, yeah, I don't fuck around with, like... But, like, if you're, like, well, I guess, I guess the uh, eyelashes are different. They're oh, hard. yeah, so no. Like, uh, it's hard. You can't feel as much stuff. I've never been on. to a barber. I've been to a barber shop to do a podcast, but I've never been <laughs> barber to shops a barber shop. Barbershops are cool as I've hell. I've never been to one. Other than that. They're so cool. Like, this hair, like. You want me to make yours gray, right? Silver. Silver. Well, that's what I meant, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know it's going to take a minute, yeah. right? I thought about it, though. No, I thought about it, and I was like, you know, this should do blonde. Because I don't want to keep up with fucking... Because I've tried it before and it, it just was a lot of... Up. And then I, we'll boom. get you there. I promise. Uh, yeah, but... Well, like, I don't get those kind of haircuts like barbershops. 
Oh. Like fades and shit, like whatever. Me, I can't do that either. Lineups and mm-hmm. line, I don't do that. I know guys that get two haircuts a week. Like, yeah. fuck, yeah. I need to learn how to do these I get, bald fades I because get, that's ridiculous. I get maybe three or four a year. Yeah, you have nice hair though. Yeah. You have different Thank you. hair. So yeah, I don't, I don't have short hair. I feel like barbershops are for short hair or for people who, yeah, who, who want the designs yeah, and shit. Who want to look I so the difference between a cosmetologist and a barber is basically no different, except for I can't use a straight razor. I can't do the bald head. Yeah. I don't know how. I'm sure, I could figure it out, but I'm not going to. They make money too, though. They do. That's what I'm saying. I know that guy, and he gets his haircut twice a week by the same guy. Yeah, I, I know this guy. I hope he's doing all right. I, know, I hope. I remember actually when we did the podcast. It was before spring break, and he was like, "You know, I'm gonna take a few weeks off just to keep my kids safe and whatever's going around." And then, lo and behold, everything hit the fan. It's crazy, you know. My mom, she's a hairdresser, and she was really worried about it. And at first, she was like, "I don't care. I'm still gonna fucking cut hair because this is how I make my money." And then I was like, "You need to chill out." Like, yeah. you need you need to think about that really quick and then she like she didn't i was like people started losing their license and everything and she's like yeah you're right it's not worth it i was like and then she filed for unemployment and she got it so it was fine but. yeah i remember i asked her like you couldn't hear right now it was like probably in may too and she was like Right, she's like, don't talk to me about that. She's like, no way. And I'm like, oh, okay. (laughs) They told them to come and get all their stuff out of the salon. They're like, you can't come back up here. These fucking dogs. You hear them? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all can't hear them. I'm sorry about that. Just some little woofers. Put them inside, man. Yeah, no. (laughs) I, I let my dogs out for like a small portion of time at this time of night. Because if they start barking, it's just fucking rude. Like... During the day, I don't yeah, give a fuck I mean, how much they bark. Yeah, but it makes it, me sad. Like, you don't have a bed inside. Well, no. I can put my dogs outside, and they're perfectly fucking happy, but they see birds, or they bark at possums uh, in the tree. Like, yeah, they're not barking because they're sad. They're barking because they're annoying. Oh, no. I said, I was saying it. I think it's sad that dogs are outside at night. Oh, yeah, for sure, in, for in sure. For sure. Yeah, like this late or something. Yeah, 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 just let them out to pee, and then let them back in. Yeah, one time we, we left our dog outside, Beagle, when in the storm hit. And everyone, oh, everyone, I did that too. Okay, I have two dogs, and I left one outside, and the other one was inside, yeah. and she was like... Yeah, we had three, and we had four, and all three were in, but, and my mom was like, where's Beagle? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I think she's outside. I think your fucking husband left him out, left her outside. And he was like, I'm glad no. I'm not the only one yeah, he was like, to my no. dog. He was like, no. They like hailed that day and everything. Hey, Dude, it was, yeah, it was like, I think it might have been the same day, and it was like a horrible storm, and I'm like, this I was like, past year? I, yeah, and I was like, Dave, I think you need to go check and see where Beagle's at. I think you left her outside, and lo and behold, she comes in, and she's fucking drenched. And sad, so sad. Jenna was waiting uh, right by the door, uh, she was like. Uh, no, she, I think my dog was just happy to be in, but I was sad. I was like, Beagle, oh no, everybody, everybody's inside dry, and, 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 and you're over here, oh fuck, it was a horrible storm, and I'm like, Beagle, oh no, and it was like, the storm was almost over at that yeah, point. Yeah, no, the storm was way over by the uh, time I got home. I was, I was just like, no, that's worse, we were home. We were home <gasps> inside. We were I getting, was at least gone, yeah. and I thought I let both of them no. back in, but I didn't. No, we were getting ready to go to bed, and I was like, I was like, Dave. You bring in Beagle. I said, like, Mom, I don't think your husband brought in this dog. And the fucking bitch was outside. I'm like, oh. Poor baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Oh, no. She had to weather the storm. That's funny. I love my fur babies. We didn't mean to do it. I, wasn't I know. I felt I'm going to let her sleep in bed that night. I was like, dry off. Get up here. I used to let my boy sleep in me, but he pisses. He's so old, like he leaks. I got him diapers, but he hates him. He oh, yeah. hates him. But Poor baby. I was gonna use this weekend. I have to train an old him. man too. He's not quite that old yet, but sometimes I cry thinking about him getting old. Mm. <laughs> nice. I do too. Actually, yeah, he's he is um, he is almost ten. My cat is. 16. Well, that bitch will probably live for at least another five years. I know, I mentioned it. I mentioned, no, that bitch is going to be 30. I really don't doubt it. (laughs) 15. 
No, she'll be 15 this year, my bad. Yeah, you're 14. You're good. 15. She'll just get a little bit that easier. E- have you heard about my cat? That mm-hmm. cat is evil, the devil. Really? Oh my god. You know how, like. Does she like Jordan? All she cats she, love she Jordan. Don't, she don't like anybody. Mm. Have you met her new cat, Jordan's? Uh, no, I He's haven't. such a little baby. I know. She sent me a Snapchat. He just kept crying. He, like, oh he's always following her and shit. Aww. Like she him. loves that. I love him too. He, he, yeah, but my cat is a, like, like, I have an old grandma, like, I don't know if, like, no disrespect, I don't know if, like, white people are, like, older white people are superstitious. Sometimes, like, my, like, yeah. my, like, my grand, my, my older Mexicans are superstitious. Oh, yeah. And, like, my, my granny, my mammal, she's my great-grandma, my mom's grandma. She won't walk by my cat. She's a black cat. Is it cat. a black cat? It's a black, straight up black cat. But she has a little white. She doesn't know that. She's so old now, like, she don't even remember her. She gave her that cat. But anyways, <laughs> and she won't walk by that cat. And she'll be like, and I have a black friend, my boy KJ. Like, I don't know if black is relevant. My bad. Disrespect. No disrespect. But he, he, um, he'll be like, hey, bro, come get your cat. I'm like, bro, you a grown ass man. You want me to come? Get that damn cat. You want me to come move this cat for you, bro? Like, come on. But I understand no, I, my man. I used to have a black cat. That was my favorite cat ever. Yeah. I'm not. I don't. I don't feel weird about black cats at all. Oh, I, I don't, except for this one. This one's like literally the epitome of evil. Like, Some cats are just fucking mean. Satan I incarnate. miss my cat. I got rid of mine. No, this is evil. My mom, for some reason, doesn't doesn't want to. Look at your friend. He's over there having a party. We should go over there. It's a party. You go tell him. Hey, father, you heard you talking shit. <laughs> but fuck yeah I have an evil cat uh, yeah we're, uh, we're we're running I don't want to go much longer because I hate yeah, fucking sure. e- I hate fucking editing yeah, but yeah. I have to ask you you want to tell us about your chameleon I, I haven't oh, brought it up my chameleon's yeah. fucking dope yeah, I, I love I have, him I forgot it. I haven't brought it up so I think it's a girl which is really unfortunate because girls lay eggs twice a year, and they lay like up without to a seven, dude. Without a dude, and they lay up to seventy eggs per year, which is really unfortunate. Because I thought he was a boy, so I named him Oscar the Grouch. Because he's fucking grouchy, but I think I'm gonna have to get him a lay bin and everything. But he's fucking cool, like, yeah. Where did you get him from? Just PetSmart. I had gone to Walter's World, so I wanted to like shop local or whatever, but they only had a female. So I went to PetSmart where we like weren't sure of what he was, and yeah, I'm still gonna say he's a boy even if he's a girl, whatever. But he's cool. Um, I would recommend anybody who wants to get a chameleon, like you need to do your like a little bit of research. Like they require a lot of humidity, the proper amount of calcium, the right amount of UV rays. Like it's pretty intense. It's technically an expert level reptile but i won't say you can't do it because i've never i had a turtle when i was like four other than that i've never had a reptile so i can't won't say you can't do it but like do your research before you get one but he's fucking cool man i don't really want one get one you saying all these like my first thought is like you're saying all this like it's crazy how if you think in their natural environment they get everything they need mm-hmm. that's nuts yeah because you just said all that but number two yeah i, I want one and if, does he change colors? Um, so the, I got a veiled chameleon, so he changes from green to black. So if he's black, he's very unhappy. Oh, like really? Dying. Yeah. So most of the time he's... It, it doesn't she, mean like... Well, yeah. No, we're still putting the energy out there that he's uh, a girl. Okay. Or that he's a male. Um, so like... Just because like he gets a little bit of black on him, like his pattern starts to show, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's dying or he's in a bad mood maybe you just startled him maybe you're making him uncomfortable you know but like if they stay black it's bad it's bad yeah there's different types of chameleons though i really wanted i don't know what their name is but the ones that turn like red and orange and everything but they're really expensive and i didn't know what i was doing with this one yet you know so i was like oh maybe one day i've seen the videos man. It's yeah cool. he's he was like washing his hands in the water did you see that video yeah yeah he's fu- he's fucking cool he's fucking rude he hisses at me all the time but really he yeah like i can't reach in there and get him i have to put like a hanger or something for him to walk on and then i have to take that hanger out and then he'll walk onto my hand 
Oh and sometimes God. they'll hiss at the hanger. Like, they just don't like to be bothered. They're not like a dog, you know? Yeah, they're just their own little But thing. also, they can't fucking hurt you. They're just a little. Is he going to get big? Yeah, he's going to get to be like 13 inches. Oh, shit. But that, I think that includes his tail, so maybe like this big. Okay. But yeah. they all... I'm like in like some chameleon groups and stuff, and they all look so grumpy. It's so funny. Like they just always look. What's the life expectancy? Like like five years. Oh, I thought it was like one of those. Like a long one. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of those like turtles? I want one. The big big backyard turtles. It's crazy that you brought it up because I literally just tweeted the other day that I wanted. Fucking yeah, I think my turtles. It was either my aunt or her family. They had one. He's and destroyed they, everything. No, no, no. no they, they were like excited to get one, and then the bitch laid fucking laid eggs and had like a thousand of them, and they were like, "Oh, what the fuck?" No, uh, I've heard that they can be really destructive. Oh, yeah. Like I tweeted, I was like, "If you aren't trying to get a backyard turtle with me one day, don't." Have you, did you ever see that video on Twitter with that lady who, like, walked her turtle? Yes! Yeah, I cool. saw one. She was, like, me feeding my 175-pound turtle. Yeah. He's so cute. And they live, like, forever. Yeah, yeah. she's like, I've had him for 17 years. I'm like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, speaking of my aunt who got it. Like, I don't know if she, again, I don't know if it's her or her, the girl she got it from. Like, it's in their will, like. Who, right, who because turtle, he lives so who, long. Who, who, who the, the, who the hell there? does Franklin go to? You yeah, know, like cool. I want one of those. Uh, there's a tortoise. My bad, it's not a turtle. Yeah, it's a tortoise. Yeah. So, for all you people who wanted to know, yeah. Ooh, reptile freaks. <laughs> I Dude, used to have the a people turtle. in the reptile community are fucking nuts. That's all I'm gonna say. Really? Sorry if any of y'all are actually a part of it. Uh, you guys are crazy. That's pretty. I think I've been thinking about. Get a little chameleon. It's really not hard. If just do some research on it and. It's my nail. Um, Just do some research on it, and it's. Is it expensive to keep? Um, Once you get your initial setup, no. I will say I spent almost like five hundred dollars getting hit him, his setup, everything he needed, his cricket keeper, like everything. Cricket keeper? What the fuck is that? Right, that's what I said. (laughs) Um, So the crickets, you buy the crickets, and they have to live in something, right? So, so, like, he doesn't so eat buy, dead ones, he eats live no, ones? No, he won't, because PetSmart was out of them, and I tried to buy some dead ones, and he didn't eat for a day and a half, because he was not interested in the dead ones. <sighs> he's so a diva. You, yeah, he's a diva. <laughs> yeah, so you have to have this little, like, it's like a little hermit crab cage, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? But it's got these, like, two cylinders that go down in it like this, and you keep your crickets in there with, like, their water or their oranges or whatever. So you keep two animals alive. It's disgusting. The crickets, I did not know what I was signing up for. Oh, shit. So, um, yeah, but and then today I bought him some mealworms, and I didn't know that if you don't keep the mealworms cold... They break out of hibernation and they turn into roaches. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. She was like, be careful. This woman just told me that her house is infested with roaches now. And I was like, thank you so much for telling me that because I had no idea. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you just have to be careful. Like, I'm in all these groups and they're like, oh, I'm breeding these crickets. I'm like, fuck. So that's what cockroaches come from. No worms. I did not know that. <laughs> me either. Oh. I was like, thank you so much for telling me that. Because I would have just kept them like on my shelf, not in my fridge, you know? But you have to keep them cold, yeah. Oh, no. Sure. And then imagine opening up like a little jar and like 50 cockroaches. Just... No, I would have burned my whole house down. Yes, yeah, when you move. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> it's a little bastard. With everything thing. left in there, I wouldn't have moved anything. <laughs> it's a little bastard's picky, huh? He likes the. Yeah, because I brought him mealworms, and he didn't even eat the mealworm. I was like... Oh, my God, so fast on a residential. Oh, so... Shout out to little guy. Hope it's a girl. Yeah, well, no, hope it's a boy. Girl. Hope Mm. it's a girl, so we can get some eggs. Well, if it's a girl, his name's Margo. Margo? Alrighty, well... Believe it or not, we've been at it for an hour and a half. I don't want to edit more than this. I don't, I don't want to sound like a grouch, guys. If you're here, the last podcast I've said this, it's just a fucking bunch. If you want to be a producer, hit me up. <laughs> then we can go for fucking four hours. Oh, for God, all I that's give a fuck. such a long podcast. For I give a fuck. But I have to edit this shit. I have 
to set up. I have to do all this. Not complaining. Love you guys. All my listeners, all my subscribers. I do. But an hour and a half is the limit I'm going to go at for oh, fucking okay. editing because I like to do other shit too. So I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you, Anna, for coming. Yes, thank you I for really having me. It was it. so fun. Do you have good you time? You may have inspired me for my own podcast. Oh, good. I'm glad. Let me know. I'll come on it. Yes, for sure. You'd be uh, my first guest. To, you, to your white clothes. Cheers. Even though I fucking hate white clothes. Why? Uh, They're so good. But um, do you have any anything you want to promote? Oh, uh, follow my Instagram at the hair witch or that's my like hair Instagram or at Anna Montana. We'll put that on on yeah. the. We'll put that on the... That's my personal one, so just whatever. Yeah, whenever I it. post this, I'll add that. So, oh. um, that's it, man. Uh, guys, um, if you're still with us, thank you. Um, be careful if you want a chameleon. As you could tell, it's not something for the faint of heart. Uh, if you want any animal, actually, do yeah. your research. I True. think you should. Just don't do it and then throw it away. But um, we're going to... we're gonna. I'm going to drink these beers. I don't know what she's going to do. But uh, if you have any paranormal activities that you want to talk about, come on the podcast. Let me know because I want to get into that. I'm very much interested in it. Um, See you guys next time. Episode 58. Thank you guys for listening.